Welcome back to Rod Reacts. Rod Reacts to India. Hopefully you're having a good, positive day. My day's been good. It's been positive. Hopefully yours is too. If you're new to the channel, comment down below and let me know where you're from. I like reading comments. But today, this was subscriber requested, and we're going to react to the top five richest temples in India. And I like architecture. I really do. I like old buildings. I like to see how they were made, see what they look like, see how, you know, imagine how hard it was to create something so beautiful. So we all know India has a lot of temples, but I don't know anything about the temples in India. So we're going to check this out. We're going to react to it. We're going to increase our knowledge. So if there's anything else you'd want me to react to about India, comment down below and let me know, or I won't know what you want me to react to. But for now, let's check the Top five, top five temples in India. India is better known as the land of diversity. Yes. It is also a place where religion acquire more importance. Although we are moving towards modernism, still our culture, rituals, and religion are well preserved. Absolutely. Many ancient temples are still standing That's to so tell beautiful. the saga of India's rich religious heritage. Some of these temples continue to function and are among the richest temples in India. Few in the category of the richest temple are not old, but due to great followers of devotees, they are on this list. So let's take a look at some of the richest temple of India. I'm excited. Number 5. Siddhi Vinayak Mumbai. Visitors arrive here in numbers ranging from 30,000 to 50,000 per day. Lord Ganesha is sighting under a golden roof and the temple has accumulated 158 kilograms of gold offerings Woo. worth 67 million dollars so far which makes Mumbai's richest temple collect around 2.2 million dollars per year. That's the heavily lot. guarded walls here are strictly off limits. The temple is also frequently visited by celebrities from around the world. Apple CEO Tim Cook is the latest addition to the list. Number four. West I wish I could have the chance to go see these temples. Maybe when the pandemic's over. Vishnu Devi Temple. The Vishnu Devi Temple is one of the richest temple in India, visited by millions of devotees That's from massive. around the world. The sacred shrine of the goddess Vishnu Devi attracts a large number of pilgrims every year. It is the center of deeply rooted Hindu religious beliefs with an annual income of around seven million dollars. About eight million pilgrims arrive at this temple which makes it the second most visited temple in India after Tirupati. Number three. How many guards does it take to guard these temples because they hold so much um, not only gold value, monetary value, but so much history, so much history and so much importance um, to the religion. So how many guards does it take? It's got to take a lot, right? Because we all know there's bad people out there that would take it in a heartbeat if they had the chance. Sai Baba Temple, Shirdi. Sai Baba of Shirdi has millions of followers around the world and is known for helping those in need. Charity. Supposedly, there was a collection of over rupees 2,000 crores for the temple. According to reports, the temple's bank account has about rupees 1.8 billion plus 380 kgs of gold, 4,428 kgs of silver and a large amount of money in the form of dollars and pounds. The incredible numbers mentioned above make the temple a worthy candidate on the list of the richest temples in India. That guy that's up there um, praying, that's Modi, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. Number two, Venkateshwara Temple, Tirupati. The Venkateshwara Temple is visited daily by 50,000 to 1 lakh people, and the number rises to 5 lakhs during festivals and special occasions. With so many devotees oh. paying tribute daily, it shouldn't surprise us that the temple receives large amount of donations. The Tirumala temple has gold reserves oh. as 52 ton of gold ornaments, including ancient gold ornaments and vessels of deities 
donated by kings for more than thousand years. Oh my god, how wonderful would it be to go see these things that's, like he said, these items and artifacts have been donated over hundreds or thousands of years by these kings and you, you're able to go up in modern time and see these treasures. Um, it must be an amazing, amazing thing to be able to do that. I'm so jealous I need to do this because it's right up my alley. I like learning about history. I like learning about old things from the past, maybe thousands of years. I like seeing the old architecture. I like to learn the meaning of the things. It's just quite a learning experience being able to go to these temples. So if you do live in India and you don't visit the temples, um, even if you're not as religious, you should go, you should go experience the experience just because you live so close and it's, it's so unique to this earth because you're not going to find things like this in the United States. We're a young nation, young, young, young nation. Um, in India, it's thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years of history and stuff is still standing and you're able to go visit it and see it and experience it. Um, so maybe some people in India don't know how how grateful they should be to be able to do these things. So if you get the chance and you live in India and you don't do these things, please go do it. Please go do it. Worth more than $20 billion. According to an estimate most recent, each year it converts more than 3,000 kgs of gold received in pilgrimages or handy donation box as gold reserve deposits in nationalized banks. It's the richest temple our country has got. And Tirupati Temple gets an annual donation of Rs. 650 crore and it alone makes $11 billion for selling laddus. Look at that. Number 1. Sri Padmanabh Swami Temple, Tiruvananthapuram. Padmanabh Swami Temple is not only the richest temple of India but also the richest in the world. The temple oh. is built in the Dravidian style architecture which is prevalent in southern India. Yes. The temple is dedicated to Lord Vishnu. It was discovered that the recently opened temple's walls were flooded with gold, silver and diamonds. Some people estimated that the value of the treasure is worth one trillion dollars. This puts the temple far ahead of any other temple in the world. And I watched another video where they're saying there's chambers that's ne never even been opened in this temple. And I'm just curious why 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 did they why did they open the temple? Why did they open these chambers to 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 see the gold, to find the gold? To, why? Why? Why didn't we keep these sealed? Why now? I think in the recent in the last 10 years or something has been open. I remember it being on the United States news. Um, years years back that they opened this and discovered this but I don't know if it's a discovery because I'm pretty sure you 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 kind of knew there was treasure in this temple so why did we open it I, I, I have a hard time understanding why it's been opened um, maybe you guys can help me on that but I, I don't know I don't know and there is a very small possibility that any temple can match the amount of money it has Thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you like it, I absolutely liked it. I loved it. I want some more of it. Um, like I said before, if you can experience these temples and checking them out and just and taking in the vibes and the just the knowledge, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Because I would do it in a heartbeat if I live close. Um, it's hard to travel nowadays, but maybe because I spend time in uh, Southeast Asia. Um, I'd love to go see India too. There's just so much to experience and learn and maybe you guys can help me on uh, figuring out where to go if I ever get the chance. Um, yeah, yeah, it's just mind-blowing what these temples look like and what it means to the world really. Not just for the people of India and the religion in India, but the people of the world because we can learn from history. If we're not learning from our history, then we're doing ourselves a disjustice. We gotta learn from our history. We gotta learn um, where where humanity came from, and India is a big part of humanity and where it came from. Absolutely, 100%, without a doubt. Anyway, hopefully you like my reaction. If you didn't, maybe you disagree. It's all right. Comment down below and let me know what you're thinking. I love reading comments. Please comment. 
Um, if I chose between a like and a comment, I'd rather have a comment than a like because I like interacting with you guys because without you, um, I wouldn't be able to learn as well. You guys can point me in the right direction, what videos to react to, what subjects to learn on, and I do appreciate that. So um, definitely comment. If you like the reaction, subscribe. But for now, um, I gotta go, so I'll see you next time. Peace.